CPEC is the unique thing that encircles China. Before, the power balance in the region favored India. The India Warren explains that as, or as CPEC continues and Pakistan grows more economically, that India views that but, as an existential th threat that shifts the power balance in the but region. But the thing is, CPEC has been there for a while, right? Like, since yeah. before the BRI. Why, are we, why haven't we seen any sort of tension spike or any sort of like skirmish between Wait, the two countries? Wait, CPEC literally is the BRI. No, no, it was not there before. It's, it was come, It was like, the CPEC started in like 20, 2011, which is like two no, years no, no, before no. the BRI. No, 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 CPEC started in 2017, two years after the BRI started. What? No, no, I'd say, like, okay, for like, even beyond like the specifics of CPEC, I'd say the relations between in, uh, China and Pakistan, sure. like, and like investment started like well before the BRI. And we say that that and investment was not like large enough to trigger the encirclement and power shift in the region that leads to lash out. Can I have a question? Yeah, sure. So you read this argument about how trade times are high and that building new infrastructure is going to decrease trade times. Yep. Why does that decrease poverty? Okay, because what we tell you is that as a result of decreasing trade times, there's going to be more trade. That's important because trade Wait, leads to economic growth, which increases wages, creates a lot of jobs. It's best for like a lot of impoverished Trade people. is faster, but why does that necessarily mean that there's more trade? Because trade is faster and because trade is cheaper, they can make a higher return on investment. So they trade more, they invest more, economic growth goes up. Sure. Okay, so on this idea of nuclear war like between China and like uh, between China and the USA even when tensions were at the highest between two nuclear powers like the cold war for example why like why didn't it boil over to a nuclear war and what's so different about sure. here that's going to lead so, to nuclear war a cold war would never lead to nuclear confrontation only a hot war would which is why we tell you that China launches nukes because when these two go into conflict the only reason that they launch nukes is because the US is beating China in the war but and China feels as if it is an existential before, right? threat and that they must use nuclear weapons to secure the victory of the war so in order to access nuclear war do you have to win that a conventional war starts first yes okay sure okay you read this uniqueness on the first contention about why fdi is decreasing to europe yep why is it uh we say for a variety of reasons we say overall chinese fdi to like all countries is going down they're like focusing more on like internal investment no no no, no. i'm saying why is european fdi from all actors going down right now Wait, what do you mean? I, that's not the evidence we read. The, the first piece of uniqueness evidence? The evidence we read specifically is that Chinese FDI to Europe is decreasing by 40%. Okay. That's what Hanuman said. Okay. Um, I, I want to see that question. Okay. I don't know. Either.